Happy Saturday, painting company owners. Brandon from Painter Marketing Pros here. Got my co-host back. He likes to join in on Saturdays. Got a lot of value to add, so I want to include him in, in the live feed. So we conducted um, two workshops this week. Conducted the Google My Business uh, workshop yesterday with the PCA. Uh, went really, really well. A uh, lot of good uh, participation. And the day before, we conducted the Google pay-per-click, Google Ads uh, workshop about why a lot of painting company owners kind of struggle with Google Ads, why a lot of people have had bad experiences with Google Ads, you know, and think, oh, it's a waste of money. Um, you know, you can't get good results or, or whatnot. You're just kind of a black hole of money, right? Uh, but I kind of... I kind of want to touch on today um, what Google wants, right? Because one of the one of the attendees, one of the participants of yesterday's workshop, been running his penny company for a while, and like a lot of uh, people, has had some ex some issues with his Google My Business profile. So he ended up basically having duplicate profiles on accident, right? Didn't mean to. It can be confusing. Um, he changed his address, I think it was first using his home address and then a business address, something like that. And essentially he had two profiles and Google flagged him, right? So Google flagged him and basically uh, disabled his profiles, right? Which is obviously not good to not have a Google My Business uh, profile. So he ultimately just deleted his profiles and then created another one, but it kind of got me thinking, you know, why does Google care so much? If there are inconsistencies, you know, we talked a lot about NAP inconsistencies, name, address, phone number, right? Needing to have all your information consistent across the web. Talked a lot about, you know, not wanting to use a, a UPS store uh, mailbox for your address, not wanting to use a USPS PO box for your address, you know, wanting to make sure you have a physical address wherever you're trying to rank uh, for your Google My Business profile. And what we ended up getting into was kind of more of a theoretical, not theoretical, but kind of more of a fundamental conversation about Google, right? And, and why is Google so picky? Why does Google, if, if there are inconsistencies or, or if you're using the wrong address or, you know, if they see anything, why are they just going to search, why are they just going to flag your account? Right? Why are they going to flag your account? Why are they going to ban your account? Why, why does Google care so much about all this stuff? And it comes down to trust, right? If you think about what Google... And this goes for everything. This goes for SEO, right? This goes for your Google My Business profile. It goes, goes for doing pay-per-click the right way. Because people are running into issues where their, their pay-per-click shut down. Um, Google ultimately cares about trust because if you think about what Google's selling, it's selling eyeballs. It's selling you. It's selling me. You know, it's selling anybody who goes onto Google and says, best painter near me, you know, or, or, or kitchen cabinet painter, uh, Tampa, Florida. That's what they're selling because they're selling pay-per-click. So the, they need to essentially vet every single result that they're showing and make sure that the results are trustworthy, right? Make sure that the, that the company is legitimate, that there are no issues, that the company is kind of on the up and up. Because otherwise, when I go on and I search for the best painter near me and, uh, you know, I, I end up... Uh, contacting some painting company that maybe is not totally does not totally have their stuff together, or is not maybe totally on the up and up, then I'm going to be dissatisfied with that search result, right? And if that happens again and again and again and again, eventually, as hard as it is to believe, I'm going to stop using Google for that stuff. I'm just going to go to Home Advisor or Thumbtack or Yelp or whatever, right? Craftjack. I'm I'm not I'm no longer going to search for providers on Google. And if I don't search for providers on Google, then their search traffic declines. And the way that Google Ads works is it's, a, it's an auction system, right? So the more traffic they have, the more competitive those keyword phrases, the more competitive those keyword phrases, the more they charge advertisers to advertise their pay-per-click. So ultimately, I'm the thing being sold. Anytime a, a software, anytime any kind of service, especially online, is free, Typically, you're being sold to advertisers. That's typically how it works. So that's how Google works. You know, and anytime you're kind of wondering why Google cares so much or, or is so annoying about so many things, it's 
it's because they're trying to regulate on a mass scale. You know, obviously, uh, a lot of this stuff's automated. You know, they do manual reviews of people and, and whatnot, but a lot of it is automated. And it's because they're trying to keep the trust at an all-time high, right? And make sure that the results that they're serving to you, to me, to everybody else who's using Google are the absolute best that they can be. Anyways, I just think it is important to understand kind of the, the motivations of Google because we're all playing in their sandbox. So the more you can kind of understand how it works and why it works that way, uh, you know, the better you can play the game. Anyways, happy Saturday. Uh, hopefully you guys take some time off. I can tell you I have a busy weekend ahead, uh, but spend some time with this little guy too. Any words? What happened? You heard it here. See you guys.